Today on Fresh Vintage Garage, we're checking out this launch scan tool. It has a couple new reset features and some awesome buttons on it. But is it the right one for you? Let's find out right now. Hey everyone, this is Tom with Fresh Vintage Garage. Today we're checking out the Launch C Reader. This is specifically the CRP123i version 2.0. Big thanks to Launch for sending us over and sponsoring this video. The version 2.0, uh, this is the second generation of this, and if you've seen them out on the internet, so to speak, Gen 1 had uh, oil light reset, and I believe like steering angle sensor resets. This guy has several other ones, including diesel particulate filter, uh, ABS brake bleeding, um, parking brake reset, and then battery management system reset. So quite a few features packed into this guy, and it does all the usual suspects, OBD2 code reading, live data graphing, um, it does have a five inch screen and I'm going to open this as I walk and talk here. One of the key features besides the resets on this guy is it actually has buttons on this. Whereas some of the other models like the one tier below this does not. It just has a touch screen and I'll show you what I'm talking about here right now. It comes in this nice case. Uh, definitely a nice bonus here because if you have if you buy a lower end scan tool some of them just come in the box and so next thing you know after four or five times the box starts getting ratty and beat up from just pulling it in and out of the box but uh, looking at this we have the manual and we have our charging cable I will make a note a lot of these are moving towards USB type C this is a barrel jack, so this is a circular jack. I just make that note because if you lose this, you're gonna have to go either buy one from launch or maybe buy like a cheap third party one or something. But um, looking at the actual unit here, this is the unit itself and the OBD2 cable is right there. I'll just set this on the side. So this is the actual CRP123i and I'm just working on getting it started up here. But while that's turning on, there's, I don't say there's not much, but you know, it's a pretty cut and dry unit. Uh, there's nothing on the back. There are two speakers. Some of the, the higher end units do have a camera, but this one does not. So, you know, it feels pretty durable, pretty solid. Um, obviously this is where your charging port is and then your OBD2 cable and your power button. And then here, these are the buttons I was speaking about. The one step down has no buttons. It's just the touch screen. But this one is one step above, and what I mean is it actually has Android 8.1, if memory serves correct, and it has um, 32 gigs of memory, whereas the next model down only has 16. So it's a little bit more uh, like a future-proofing type unit here, and you can see the screen. I'll just quickly show you the screen here. So what we're going to do is we have our Subaru Outback right outside the windows here. We're going to make sure we get the updates done for Subaru, maybe do the firmware update, but we're going to go plug into the car and see how far we can get into like the engine and transmission, uh, code reading, um, live data graphing, and then actually check out those resets and well, as well. And there's a few other things like battery voltage and a few other things that this thing will do. Let's get uh, updated and then we'll jump out into the Outback right now. We're inside the 2020 Subaru Outback and uh, I already plugged this into the OBD2 port. So I wanted to just go ahead and we'll dive right into diagnose and you can see all the different uh, vehicles and brands that are in here. This is a global unit, but uh, you can see there's plenty of support for North American brands as you scroll through this. Uh, I just want to go ahead and hit auto detect and this is just going to VIN the vehicle. Um, obviously this is 2020 and we've had success with, I have an 05 CRV. It'll auto VIN that. It will not, however, auto VIN. I have a 2000 Jeep Cherokee. So, you know, if, you, if that's a key feature, you know, like a need, Definitely keep that in mind. But uh, there we have our 2020 Subaru Outback. I'll go ahead and hit OK. So from here, what this should do is give us a few options to run like a health check and, a, and or like do a manual system selection. OK, so we want to choose our area. So this is North America. And again, it's just giving us our data here. So we'll hit yes. And we're gonna choose Outback. Okay, so I'm gonna do health report, and all this is doing is just you know start to finish, top to bottom. It'll touch every single computer in the car, and then give you a bill of health kind of thing, and just a report on the overall health of the vehicle. 
and this is really useful if you're in a shop type situation maybe you're thinking of a uh, like a backup scan tool or a second or third scan tool this just gives you something quick and fast that you can hand to the customer and say here's what's going on here's what is potential uh, you might need to get fixed in the car and so on and so forth so I'm going to keep back backing out of here system scan is the same exact thing except you're not going to get an actual health report out of the uh, scan tool and then system selection is just a manual version of that so engine transmission brakes let's just jump into the brakes here and take a look and I will make note that when I touch this uh, read fault code the check engine light is not on with the uh, the Subaru here so we kind of figured that there'd be nothing uh, showing up here but let's go into the engine now I will mention that this as it sits out of the box has lifetime updates for firmware and the basic code reading uh, there's some other software options that you can purchase we'll show you a little bit later here and uh, no, no check engine light on there so we're good it's good to see that let's actually read the data stream here there's quite a bit of capability in this from what we've seen We'll just let it uh, communicate. There we go. And you can see there's a ton of stuff in here. I won't even scroll through it all. But at the bottom of the screen there, it says 343 options. So I'm just going to select all. And there we go. So let's take a look here. And... A ton of different stuff just for example you can see the gas pedal here you can see it moving as I push it down and if you want to live graph data that's where I just push the gas pedal and so make it a nice little up and down chart there I think this will do multi graphing but I'm not sure so let's see here I don't see a way if we find it we'll let you know Oh, okay, so here's combined. Uh, here we go. So we'll do this. Let's just grab a few different things. And we'll do that one. Okay, so there's our actual multi-graphing capability. Nice feature to have if you're chasing a bug or some kind of like a sensor that's starting to go bad, but it's still giving readings sometimes, but not all the times. Nice feature to have so you can actually see the live data coming out of the computer. OBD2 is basically the exact same thing that we were just in. It is uh, code reading and data graphing. And I will mention this actually has FCA auto auth. So if you have later model like 2017 and newer Chrysler vehicles, this will actually read and communicate with them. So really, really nice feature to have that if, if you have that type of a vehicle fleet in your driveway. So here's our overall you know, information on the vehicle. And then we're just seeing more of the same here. This is where you can read codes, clear codes, read live data, just like we did in the diagnostic section. And then there's other options down here. Uh, this is more of like IM readiness and stuff like that. So let me go ahead and back out of here. Speaking of IM readiness, we have this here. If you're in a uh, state that has very heavy or dependent on emissions tests and you want to make sure that you're 100% good to go before you go to the shop, to get that almighty emissions sticker. Uh, this is a great way to go because this gives you a, a top to bottom report of what's going on with the vehicle, what might be an issue, what might not be working. And for some reason, it's not reading. Interesting, let me try that one more time. I am readiness. Okay, I, uh, I'm not sure what's going on there, but uh, we actually did this off camera with multiple other scan tools and it seems to be working. So this might be a, uh, an issue with the software or a uh, needs another firmware update or something. But uh, this is the area where you can actually see if you have an emissions issue going on. And let's jump back to the home screen here. These are the resets I mentioned earlier in the video. So the version 2.0 here gives you the battery reset, the bleeding the actual uh, parking brake reset and then the DPF. Uh, really nice features to have. 
This gives expanded capability to a DIYer in your own garage or a shop owner for like a second or maybe a third backup scan tool or something like that. Data here, pretty quick uh, you know, diagnostic records. If you make a record, it'll keep it here. If you take a screenshot, it'll stay in here. And then obviously you can look up data trouble codes and so on and so forth. Battery voltage is just like it sounds. This is just a live output of your overall voltage. And you can also see voltage right up here. It's showing 12 volts right now. So this is the mall I was uh, speaking to earlier where you can buy actual software. And what I mean is this comes with standard OBD2 code reading and data graphing capabilities, um, the emission stuff. But if you wanted to buy like deeper diagnostics, you can see the options that are available in here. This has uh, Chrysler, and then there's actually some, you can see this is a global tool, but it has plenty of capability. There's Honda and Acura and so forth. I see GM, Buick, Cadillac. So nice to see the different options that are in here. Um, and if you're a shop that runs on Sprint, or like works on Sprinter stuff all day long, there's that. We're in a Subaru. So it gives you deeper uh, ability to, you know, do like heavier diagnostics and get down into the actual, um, you know, individual parts and pieces of, of engine or transmission diagnostics, Suzuki, so Toyota, and so on and so forth. So let me uh, jump out of here, and here's our upgrade. So for our software that is existing in this now, if we wanted to just do a firmware update or the software that's in here, we just go in there, hit the update, and it walk away, and it just updates over Wi-Fi. Settings is all the usual stuff that no one ever pays attention to. So uh, you know, our Wi-Fi is in there, display and brightness. Let's actually look. It's, uh, you know, it gets fairly bright, so, and it does have a sleep if you want to save the battery kind of thing. So, you know, overall, wrapping up, let me unplug this thing. Wrapping up, you know, this is not a bad unit. It's, it's, a, it's a decent unit. Uh, I would recommend this for a DIYer, someone who wants buttons, because if you look at this one versus, like, one beneath it, there is a version of this that is slightly less expensive, and it has no buttons. It's just touchscreen. Uh, this 5-inch touchscreen is responsive like you just saw in the video. Uh, it's a great unit for a DIY. If you're looking as a shop owner thinking about maybe a second tool, I like having this and the, having the button simply because you know if your gloves or your hands are dirty, this screen is just going to get filthy and you're going to be cleaning it constantly all day long. Um, so with that being said, uh, definitely check this out. We'll leave the link for this in the description of the video you're watching right now, along with a few other versions of these, both launch and other brands. So you can take a look at them and make sure you're making the informed choice for your hard-earned money. With that, if you like scan tools, if you like shop equipment, if you like keeping your cars fixed up and certified fresh on the road, Fresh Vintage Garage, your channel, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.